Hello, my name is Dr. Chan. I'm Dean of Admissions here at the University of Utah School of Medicine. I'm very excited today to talk to you about non-traditional students. Here's my second tip. Non-traditional students, who are you and why am I bringing this up? So first of all, non-traditional students are technically defined as anyone who's applying to medical school not right after graduation from undergrad, okay? So the way to think about this is, uh, if you graduate from school or if you took a long time to graduate from undergrad and you want to go back and become a doctor, you're technically considered a non-traditional student. Why is, this, uh, why is this an issue? What is going on? Well, we've noticed nationally that the average age of medical students who matriculate at med schools across the country has been rising. Um, the average age of matriculation across the country is 24. Now at our medical school, because of cultural, religious, socioeconomic reasons, the average age has always, has always been two years higher. We're closer to 26, okay? So first of all, I feel that the University of Utah School of Medicine is a fantastic medical school if you're a non-traditional student. However, you're here to listen for tips. So what should you do? As a non-traditional student, you need to prioritize your schedule, all right? A lot of non-traditional students are very involved in careers, uh, have a lot of family commitments, and Unfortunately, we cannot make exceptions when it comes to our criteria. MCAT, GPA, letters of recommendation, things like that, because a non-traditional student may have more demands on their time, okay? So my first strong tip for non-traditional students is prioritize your schedule. You probably need to make sacrifices. The same standards have to be applied to everyone. That being said, you have certain advantages as a non-traditional student. You can discuss why you are different in your personal statements or on your interview day. Right? You have a natural kind of narration. A lot of non-traditional students have gone down a path, a different career, and now are thinking about switching. You have something to talk about, that why. Why are you switching? Why are you wanting to join medicine? If you've taken many years to complete your undergrad degree, that's a powerful narrative as well. Why did it take you so long? What happened? The way to think about it is the process is so competitive, there's someone just like you out there applying for the same position. So let's go back to Jack and Jill. Um, I was approached uh, by Jack a few months ago. I was given a, a conference, a presentation similar to this. Jack told me that he was a father, uh, he was married to Jill, and they had five kids, and Jack was in his mid-30s, and could the missions committee make exceptions when it comes to you know, GPA, MCAT, things like that. And what I told Jack and Jill, and what I tell everyone is, Jack and Jill, there's someone out there with five kids who works full time, who is actually making the sacrifices and you know, volunteering in the community, doing some research and studying for the MCAT. And so that's kind of why I tell people, like you, I, I, you like to think you're unique and you are in certain ways, but there's someone just like you with maybe even more kids or having a more intense job. So some pitfalls for non-traditional students. You have to be very, very clear and have a very clear reason why you're changing your career, you're changing your path, your trajectory, okay? And the best example I give is nurses, drop to the bottom. We have a lot of nurses who apply to medical school. So what are some advantages if you're a nurse applying to medical school? You understand the healthcare team, you have a lot of patient exposure, uh, you do great in situations, in life and death situations, that's your bread and butter, great interpersonal and teamwork skills. However, it is normal and natural on your interview day or when you write to define why you want to switch to becoming a physician. And the nurses who write about power, how wanting to be in charge of the team, how they saw a physician do X, Y, and Z and they thought that was aberrant and they hate that, those aren't great reasons why they're switching. You need to be, have a very thoughtful, mature reason to switch tracks. So again, what are some advantages to being a non-traditional student? You're more mature and that maturity speaks for itself. Non-traditional students, in my experience, interview much better and they write much more powerfully. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation about non-traditional students. I feel our medical school is a great place for you. Um, again, the average age is usually two years older than, uh, than the national average. It's closer to 26 and that's true for this year. I look forward to seeing your applications. Thank you.